Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing good today. I wanted to film quite a glam look today. I want to film like a really grungy, smoked out, like underwing eyeliner. So I'm not really going to do anything on top. I'm going to do this kind of like heavy bottom and kind of like low wing, if that makes sense. I'm actually going to do eyes first today. I have seen this done a few times and I've actually done it once myself and I thought it just looked really cool. So I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, let's get into the eye look. So I have done my brows. I use the Anastasia Brow Freeze today. Um, I didn't enjoy, <laughs> I used to enjoy this, but it took me a while to get my brows how I liked them. And with my bare brows, they just go perfect straight away. But I thought I'd give this a go again because I haven't used it in so long, but I think it's going to be time to kind of declutter it because I just, it just doesn't work. I've got such stubborn brows, like I need glue. Right, I'm going to zoom you in. I've got you very close. I am going to be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer on my eyelids today. I want a really matte full coverage lid because I'm actually not using much product on it at all on the tops of my lids um, and as you can see there's nothing on there at the moment and they're just quite veiny. I take this kind of flat brush and I kind of just pack that all over both sides. And this is obviously super super matte and full coverage then i just take a fluffy brush and i literally just start to diffuse that out i know a lot of people kind of sculpt their brows but i've never really liked how that looked i like my brows to look quite free <laughs> if that makes any sense but by doing this you literally just get the most perfect eyelid base and actually you're keeping a lot of the coverage in the middle you're just literally buffing out the edges and it obviously helps that even though this is obviously lighter it's the same color as kind of my foundation i use this to kind of spot conceal and for eyeshadow bases over like I wouldn't use this as an actual concealer to like highlight with. Right next, I'm basically going to be doing the whole of this look with this nine. It's the Neutral Nine Pan by Beauty Bay. It's one of my favourite little eyeshadows. They're all matte. So I really want to get the big version of this where I think it's like 24 shades. It's next on my list. I'm going to be just using this palette and some other like eyeliners and um shadow sticks but this is kind of the tones that i'll be using so i'm going to do a mixture of the white and the pink and i'm just going to set my eyelids and i'm just going to start in the corner and really just set that down and just work my way across like i said because i'm not doing any other shadow on my lid i want this to be really matte and kind of plain so that the liner and all the work that I do on the bottom really shows up and like stands out. I love these shadows. I think they're such a good formulation for the price. I literally have no issues ever with them. And look how nice and blank my eyelids look. Next, I have got um, my eye wand in espresso from Vive and it's this almost like caviar brown colour and I'm going to take this teeny tiny brush and kind of just coat the brush with this and I'm going to start mapping out my eye shape normally because I've got hooded eyes I have to really like plan the wing but 
my obviously my hood of my eyes kind of finishes there and all of the look is going to be from here down so I just try and look straight and I'm kind of mapping it to come almost out straight so it hits just above my ear so I'm just mapping that out and as you can see so if I thought fo you followed that line it would be with the top of my ear I'm now going to start to with another small brush these are both by the Morphe by Ariel and I'm just going to be running this kind of all under my eye and this is going to be a base for the shadow it's going to be a lot more like blown out than this oh and I forgot to say I'm doing this first because I'm using black shadow normally I am a make like base first and I've just gone all the way along so as you can see there's nothing above and everything is kind of like lower I'm just going to put this in my waterline as well I love these shadow these eye ones Vive bring more out I'd love to see some really like cool tone neutrals some like some like rosy pinks some almost like purple tones right next with my palette I'm going to take this kind of purpley tone and I'm going to mix it in with the black and I'm going to take this on a I want a small I've got this beauty bay beauty bay brush this is an angled eyeshadow brush and I'm just dabbing between those colours and I'm just going to stamp over what I've already done and obviously this is going to it's going to set that shadow that cream shadow down and it's just going to start to diffuse and kind of smoke out and what I why I love to go in with the cream shadow first is because for me you get like the crispest line and kind of base for your eye shadow to stick to and then you can literally just run this along the top and you've you've got the depth and you've got the kind of sharpness without having to go back and like clean up next I'm going to take another this is a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to take this kind of taupey colour mixed in with the white and I'm just going to buff underneath so it's, I'm kind of smoking it out but I'm not depositing any like dark colour and I find this just really helps to kind of diffuse what's going on there so you might need to go back and forth until you get the kind of desired look I like to go quite grungy with it quite low down and just keep going back in and kind of like diffusing that edge and that is basically it for now it looks kind of weird <laughs> without everything on we've got, I've got lashes so what I'm going to do so I'm just going to speed through doing this eye so that we're at the same like place Of smoked out obviously I look scary look like I could be a part of kiss 
I feel like with most grungy looks, you kind of, but you look kind of scary until like everything's done. So, under eyes should be kind of just smudgy and as grungy as you as you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away and do just my normal foundation, contour, all of that, and then we're gonna come back and kind of do lashes, kind of still buff out the edge once my face is done and finish the look off but yeah at the moment you should be looking like this hi guys so i'm back i just did kind of like a full face feeling like i'm living my best goth grunge fantasy um lips i used these two i used nyx in moonwalk and I just outlined the edge and then I used MAC lip glass. This little mini like movie one. Quite vampy, but I feel like it goes really well with the eyes. So as you can see, I just did kind of like a quite cool tone face. Um, and what I want to do now is I just really want to and just spend some time really kind of like just buffing the under eye. I feel like this is best to do once you've got your base on because you can almost like blend into what you have been putting down. I'm going to take kind of like a flat brush and I'm just going to kind of buff this out underneath. Next I'm going to go in with Lash Freak because oh, I want a really like clumpy lash. I really struggle with the wand but I feel like once I get to use it I really like how it looks. And I haven't curled my lashes because I don't want them to be too... I want my top lashes to be there but I don't want them to cover, cover my lid. I want the lid to kind of be the really empty and stark so just kind of coating them i will be putting lashes on but can you see they're not like super curled and the same on the other side lashes just complete a look i feel very like matrix with this look i feel like it's very like utopian like 90s underground rave and then i'm going to do bottom lashes too now we're going to go in for some falsies and i'm going to use just some little kind of corner fluffy ones just to add some darkness to the edge of my eye if you don't have a half lash you could just chop up some like old lashes that kind of had its day and they'll do like just the job or even new lashes i mean if you wear normal lashes you can just chop up old ones and can you see how much that changes the eye shape because it's just making it super full but you still got all that kind of like blank canvas at the top see the difference there we have it lashes are on because there's nothing on the top you just really need to check that your band is kind of like really tight to your lid line as you can see like it's super tight in there normally i can kind of just throw them on and whatever I have on top kind of like masks it. Super smoky, super glam. I'm so in love with this look. I think it's turned out exactly kind of how I want it. Super smoky. I love the like purple vampy vibe. I feel like this is great for like a night out, party, just anything super glam. 
but yeah I'm super happy I think it really turned out great it's very 90s actually I feel like 90s grunge let me know what you think in the comments down below um I will list everything down below that I used on my eyes if you have any questions about what I used on my base I'll answer those in the comments hope you enjoyed this little eye tutorial just something grungy glam um i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you super soon bye